Yo, we're gonna hear this one from AIM. This one is uh, called uh, Borderline Possessive Decade Mix 1.mp3. Not to be depressive, my obsession for music is borderline possessive. Can't hold conversations half the time. I'm thinking of rhymes and how to make the next record. 1667.6, that's how much I made from this shit. I know that you know I'm worth more than this. Still. I know it's more than most. Competition keeps rising, so I can't coast. Had to get down for this and lay down my toes. Cause somehow y'all think y'all better than post. Oh my god, yo guys, give it up for aim. Dude, I had no idea you could rhyme like that. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I guess I did, but no. That's like, ah, uh, it, it's just classic, man. As a music creator, I think that some of the things that appeal to me musically might be kind of different than like what normal listeners are looking for in their music. But I can always really appreciate music that talks about the craft and dedication. I don't know if fans like connect with that in the same way that music people do, but that's always something that I feel like is kind of near and dear to me. Because it's just like, man, I've just like sacrificed so much in this pursuit of music. Subject wise, that that song really like hits me. You know, I there there's so much that I can identify with. I like how you're using like some subtle delays to kind of fill out um i i guess kind of in place of like ad libs and i think when it comes to ad libbing it's everybody's like a personal choice like it, it comes down to taste how much you want to ad lib on it and i kind of am really digging your like more minimal approach i think that because you're a little bit more minimal on like your ad libbing it's keeping a little bit more of the focus just on you and your bars and i think that the same can be said for the beat sometimes the the advantage of more like a simplistic approach in in the beats as well is that it it forces more attention on the artist. I guess one thing that I would recommend is when you delay out your uh, your vocal like that, I would recommend delaying that out in a separate lane, in a separate track. And the reason why is because I would take that, that delay track and I would maybe put it off in either the left or the right ear. Kind of getting it out of the center lane where your main vocals are. Whenever you have two sets of vocals in that center lane, um, it kind of creates this sort of mixing clash. Essentially, you can kind of think of it as like two instruments trying to take up the same space in the mix, right? Where they're both in the same frequency range of the EQ, and they're also spatially in the same place. So moving that out to the side it's gonna make it so that your main vocals don't have anything in that lane that they have to comp compete with let's say maybe you move that to like the far right ear um that little detail off to the side i think that it it kind of makes your mix sound even wider and it kind of grabs your listeners attention going like Oh, I didn't know you could reach that far over there. Yeah, he says, I get you. They are bust, uh, but I didn't think of that. There might be ways to do that still. I would say that if you're sending all of your vocals to one bus, but you have the need to separate them out into different tracks, what I would suggest is get them in separate tracks, but then send all of your vocals to one return track and do all of your vocal processing, do your vocal bus, on that return track show of hands in chat how many of you guys know like have never used a return track don't know what the hell i'm talking about when i say that it's a an audio track that you send multiple audio tracks to one track so you're piping audio from let's say you've got three vocal tracks you pipe them into one return track and now you got one track where you can apply one chain that touches all of this audio that all of this audio is being passed through this one track and you're able to touch all of that audio in one chain together right so it's good it's good it allows you flexibility it allows you the ability to group instruments that belong together and process them together if you know in a way that makes sense i just gotta say in terms of the art itself i'm i guess i'm giving you advice on like mix but in terms of the art itself, this is impeccable. 
This is like really impeccable. I can I can feel the amount of emotion put into this track. Like it feels so genuine. It feels so genuinely put. This is some stuff that I would just be bumping on Spotify. You know, this is some stuff that uh, honestly, this is the type of hip hop that got me passionate about this music in the first place. The more real you can be in your music, the the more that you stand a chance of really connecting with people. And there's exceptions to that rule, you know. Like, like MF Doom is an exception to that rule where he's rapping as a metal face villain. And it's like, you know, he, he's kind of fun because of that. But I think that then you listen to some some shit like like Nas, you know, you listen to some some Tupac and their their music is so effective because they're rhyming about like a very harsh reality. Right. They're they're rhyming about their lives. And it's like it, it's so raw and unfiltered and genuine. Sometimes when you're on that stuff, it's it's almost painful to put out. But I think that when you're when when you're being so like authentically yourself, so raw, so unfiltered, just you putting yourself out there on a canvas and for the world to see. I I think that when you're when you find yourself in that scenario where you're like, oh, I don't know if I should drop this. Like this is. This is almost too too revealing of who I am. You know, like, this is this is almost too much. This is almost showing too much me. Like, that's when you know you're on some good shit, <laughs> honestly. Like, that that's when you know you're on some shit that people could connect with. Damn, Aim, I'm looking forward to hearing more from you. I'm, I'm really enjoying what you're doing, man. 